Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a quick look at static uh, versus dynamic IP addresses or automatic IP addresses. Now a static address is an address that doesn't change, it's uh, usually assigned manually uh, whereas a dynamic address can change. Uh, a static address is assigned to devices that need an IP address that doesn't change or shouldn't change, i.e. your home router. So you need to configure all your clients with the IP address of your home router so it's very important that, that that address doesn't change so you always assign a static address to the home router now there may be other devices on your home network um, maybe you've got a server, a media player that needs a, a static IP address because you need to connect to it and you need to know I its IP address uh, so you'd assign a static address to that now static addresses can be assigned directly and I'll show you a quick screenshot of that in a second or they can be assigned by using DHCP and, and using DHCP is the preferred uh, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Now this is the a screenshot of a Windows 10 machine and you can see here obtain an IP address automatically that is normally the one that is actually enabled and that basically uh, enables dynamic IP addresses or use the following IP address now when you use this you actually assign a static IP address now when you assign a static IP address you also need to assign a subnet mask and I'll put a link in the description below for um, a tutorial on subnetting so it's important that you actually have a good idea of what subnetting is before you actually do this and you also need to assign a default gateway now if you enable this box here obtain an IP address automatically then all of this the IP address and the default gateway is actually assigned by the DHCP server now you can also get the DHCP server to assign a DNS the DNS addresses automatically by enabling this box or you can also statically assign the DNS server addresses by enabling this box now as I said this is for a Windows 10 machine but you'll find this on your mobile phone you'll find it on tablets you'll even find it these days on smart TVs now, dynamic addresses are assigned by a DHCP server and that DHCP server is normally located on your home router uh, using the DHCP server makes uh, configuring clients easy, it makes it quick and it also um, avoids a uh, problem with duplicate IP addresses so all IP addresses on a network need to be unique so assigning addresses statically you run the, the, the danger, or sort of say manually you run the danger of actually assigning a duplicate IP address whereas using DHCP you don't you can assign static addresses to clients using reserved addresses on the DHCP server. Now this is the preferred way, preferred way of doing it. It makes it much easier to change. So if you decide that you need a, a different static I, IP address on that particular device or you need to re rearrange your network, uh, then you can do that quite easily by going to the DHCP server and changing the reservations. Now the reservation is actually done on the MAC address. So each machine or device on your network has two addresses it has an IP address and it has a MAC address now the MAC address is fixed you can't change it and so when you actually assign a static IP address using DHCP you basically link the IP address to the fixed MAC address on that device and this is just a simple screenshot of uh, my uh, DHCP server and you can see here I've reserved addresses uh, on the DHCP server and I've assigned it to this MAC address and you can see here I've reserved several um, IP addresses now these are basically static addresses but they're static addresses that are being actually allocated by the DHCP server so if I wanted to change these I just come to the DHCP server and I can change these makes it much easier than manually doing it on the actual device itself so I don't recommend you assign static addresses on the device itself you should do that using the DHCP server so that's it. Um, a static address is a fixed IP address. It doesn't change, whereas a dynamic address is automatically assigned and it can change. 
hope that gives you a better understanding of what a static IP address is and you, that you'll understand when you actually come to a dialog box uh, when it asks you do you want to use DHCP or do you want to uh, assign a manual address you'll understand what it, what it is actually asking you and you'll choose the right option. So that brings to the end of the video. Um, if you like the video then click up the like uh, the like button below. If you've got any comments then leave them in the comments below and if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel then click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notifications bell. Okay until next time goodbye.